Becca is raging after a former Trump White House spokesperson spoke at the DNC. Now, Stephanie Grisham, who was a close advisor to Trump, uh, had revealed a text exchange from January 6th with then First Lady Melania Trump. So there it is. Melania refused to encourage her husband to call for peace during the Capitol riot. And this is before he said anything. Remember, Donald Trump was sitting there and watching it unfold, hoping that it was successful at getting Mike Pence, pressuring him and Congress to not certify the election. Uh, now, that shows that Melania is totally fine with Donald Trump's behavior. She's nothing more than an enabler. Didn't want to do anything uh, to, to try to get him, pressure him to stop the violence and to pressure the chuds to stop the violence. Uh, now, that text exchange, that picture, came at the end of her speech uh, where she uh, said this. I was a true believer. I was one of his closest advisors. The Trump family became my family. I spent Easter, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's all at Mar-a-Lago. I saw him when the cameras were off. Behind closed doors, Trump mocks his supporters. He calls them basement dwellers. On a hospital visit one time when people were dying in the ICU, he was mad that the cameras were not watching him. He has no empathy, no morals, and no fidelity to the truth. He used to tell me, it doesn't matter what you say, Stephanie, say it enough and people will believe you. So, uh, I mean, there you go. Uh, I, that's who Donald Trump is, so he's always been. We're not surprised. I'm, we're not at all surprised that he hates a lot of his own supporters, obviously, uh, because this is a guy who looks down on people that are not as wealthy as he is. <laughs> and that's what it comes down to. Remember, he thinks he's better and smarter and more elite than anyone else. Of course he's going to look down on the people that vote for him if they're not wealthy, powerful, and elite. And again, he will only look up to you as if you have something of value to him. Okay? That's what it ultimately comes down to, and we know how he's transactional, and this is stuff that I've already covered on the show before. Uh, that said, uh, Mac and Chuds were enraged uh, at this, um, because of course they are. When are they not enraged? Uh, in fact, we're going to uh, talk about Laura Loomer, who said this, quote, Stephanie Grisham really hit the wall. Another traitor who got rich off Donald Trump and then turned on him on J6. I guess she started eating uncontrollably ever since she quit Trump. She must have gained about 75 pounds since she resigned. She actually did resign, by the way. There's, I, I, look, Laura Loomer put that in quotes. I don't know why. Now she's voting for Kamala Harris. And that's what happens when you hit the wall. She's talking about hitting the wall. Oh, I hit, you. I hit the wall. I hit the wall. Um, Laura, are you sure you were the one to go after somebody's looks? I'm just saying it doesn't seem like a very nice thing to do. I could certainly put up an unflattering picture of Laura Loomer, but I also think that that, is, that happens to not be the nicest thing to do, okay? I'm just saying, don't throw stones if you live in a glass house, all right? Uh, now, funny enough, um, Grisham responded by saying this. Hi, Laura. I've actually hit menopause. What sucks? A ton. And yes, it's a weight struggle. Okay. Uh, definitely not rich either. I run a nonprofit animal sanctuary and could barely afford the blazer of war tonight. But I told the truth and plan on keep doing so. Republicans for Harris. Okay. All right. Well, there we go. The classy response to a very unclassy person. Okay. Uh, look, it, she gave Stref, uh, Stephanie Grisham gave uh, Laura Loomer a lot more grace than I think Loomer deserves. Okay. Uh, I, if you're not familiar with her antics, who boy, there's a lot. Um, I mean, she's incredibly Islamophobic, uh, for one. <laughs> okay, but, uh, but, but there's more, by the way. It's not just Laura Loomer. Uh, you had a, a bunch of other MAGA chuds also going after her as well, attacking her looks, tearing her down. Um, here's Patty saying, wow, she really got fat and ugly since she turned on Trump. 
These are, these are the kinds of people, okay? Yeah. Uh, Lori says, she was so bad that he never even let her do a press conference. Hmm. Dean Clark says, her 15 minutes of fame will be over soon, and she will be remembered as a disloyal grifter who takes more than she gives. She served herself during the Trump administration and deserves to be shunned and ridiculed. Let's do that for her. Uh, but of course, um, best comment here comes from I Melt Snowflakes. And by best, I mean most illustrative. He says, crazy how women immediately come, become uglier once they become Democrats. You're not a Dem Republican. Uh, you know what? MAGA guys stop being weird and sexist challenge level. Impossible. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon in order to get notified whenever a new video is released. And if you want to support independent, progressive media through this difficult time where it seems like everybody is shutting down, you can become a member on our YouTube page, you can become a subscriber on Facebook, or you can go to my Patreon, patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf. Thank you.